Oh no! Carl Dubas, stay away, man! Hell nah! I don't want the Toronto Maple Leafs to get this guy. He is too valuable and too amazing for the Vancouver Canucks that I want Kyle to keep his grubby, filthy little paws off of Tyler Myers. We had ourselves some trade rumors popping out of the fourth period earlier this weekend, and it goes over what had been discussed in regards to the Canucks and the Maple Leafs. This is Orfan Gaffar on Twitter who said this, Sounds like the Toronto Maple Leafs have some interest in Tyler Myers from the Canucks. We'll see where it goes, but the two sides have talked this week. The fourth period also mentioned this, or the fourth period, David Panyota also mentioned this on NHL Network earlier today. Plus, you had yourselves another article on the fourth period itself, Defense First, talk on Chitrin, Gavrikov, Myers, and more, published by the aforementioned Panyota on the same February 10th date. If you go over to the Tyler Myers part of the article, it goes out there and talks about how the Canucks and the Leafs may be chatting. As the Vancouver Canucks navigate Brock Besser, Shannon Garland trade discussions, talks surrounding Myers have picked up steam. The Canucks have been engaged in trade talks with the Maple Leafs, whom have been suggesting to everyone that their focus is on upgrading up front about a Myers deal. There seems to be steady traction there, from what I've been told. Leafs GM Kyle Dubas is exploring all his options, at both ends of the ice, but it seems talks with Vancouver on Myers have shifted his focus for the time being. Myers has one year left on his contract and comes with a $6 million AAV salary cap hit. The Canucks, I presume, would retain part of his deal to make a deal happen. Myers also owns a 10 team no trade list, but the Leafs are not on it. Very interesting how that piece of information was revealed to the public. Both the Canucks and the Maple Leafs are pretty active for different reasons, but there could be a marriage between the two clubs here. Toronto has also reached out to St. Louis about Blues forward Ivan Barbashev, which I reported last week. Now, believe it or not, this isn't the first time we've made a video talking about Tyler Myers and the Toronto Maple Leafs. We had a video, when was that? I'm going to go out there in my calendar app and look for Myers Leafs. Let's see when the last time it was that we had talked about this. November 18th. Ay ay ay. So it's been a while that this idea has sort of been there, but it kind of disappeared after it was talked about in November, and now it's back up and running again at the start of February here, or I guess we're in the middle of February now. Yeah, it's February 12th. But either way, when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs and their need for a defenseman, you talk about guys like Jacob Chitrin, the big fish that is probably not going to make his way over to Toronto, and some other names that have thrown themselves around as well. Luke Shen has been linked to the Maple Leafs in more ways than one, as is, I guess you could say now, Tyler Myers. And if you're really looking out there for a guy to compliment, Morgan Riley, whose play hasn't really been the best this season, you want to go out there and add another layer of defensive sophistication of a puck-moving, offensively great guy, then Tyler Myers is absolutely not the target that you need. Sure, at the beginning of the video, I was kind of memeing around saying, oh, Kyle, don't touch him. He's so good. Like, he is a game-breaking, game-changing elite defenseman, and I want him to stay in Vancouver for the next calendar year, because he does expire at the end of 2024. But all memes aside, Tyler Myers is still a very bad defenseman. He's got 10 points in 50 games this season, on pace for a total of 16 points in 79 games played, which is a pretty big drop-off from the, let's say for example, the 21 points he had in 55 games in 2020-2021. The guy doesn't get too many points, he's kind of a turnover machine still, and his defensive awareness is... I mean, he tries. Sometimes he tries to block passing lanes, but often he'll lose his check, especially when the opposing team starts cycling it around a little bit. You'll frequently find Tyler Myers either in no man's land, leaving a guy wide open on the side, or just completely committing himself in the most ridiculous way possible. Now, sure, he's a better option than a lot of the other options the Canucks have had over the years. He's probably better than Travis Hamannick was. He's better than Tucker Pullman. And these guys were not great either. It's just a lesser of two evils if you wanted to go out there and say that. The thing is with Tyler Myers, even though he is a guy who could provide maybe one really good shift every game or so, 
You have so much bad that comes with that that it really does diminish his value in my opinion, especially when paired with a guy who is as defensively inadequate as Riley Stillman has been this year too. That Stillman-Myers pairing the past few games has been a travesty to watch, and in my opinion, just thinking about what Tyler Myers is at that freaking dollar amount, $6 million a year till the end of 2024, it really is just a showcase of how big right-handed defensemen are perceived amongst GMs because they're big and because they're right-handed. Eric Branson got such a big deal from the Columbus Blue Jackets earlier last offseason because of this exact fact, when really, he is not a good player. So... Overall, I mean, the Maple Leafs being interested in Tyler Myers, you talk all this talk about the analytics and Kyle Dubas and his analytical team forming a lineup that is really coursey and expected goals for and all that heavy. Tyler Myers, in my opinion, is a complete contradiction to the philosophy that you're building a team based off of advanced stats, because both in terms of the eye test and the advanced analytics, Myers has been a bad player. The past few years, plain and simple. Like, I can understand going after a guy like Luke Shen. Even though Shen maybe has one bad turnover every game and a half or so, he still is producing a lot more than we've expected out of him, and he's a lot calmer and safer with the puck than Tyler Myers is. Plus, Luke Shen actually hits. Myers doesn't do that. You think, oh, he's six foot eight or whatever it is that he is. He probably uses that body like a bull. He's truculence on steroids, but nah. He doesn't do that. He just kind of lets guys go around him and he tries to swing his stick out to block passing lanes and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, oftentimes it doesn't, and then he gets confused when the other team cycles it around a little bit. It's kind of off-putting seeing this player play the way he has been, and it's been like this for the past few years, ever since he was signed by Vancouver all the way back in, my goodness, when was his first season in Vancouver? 2019-20? So four years ago, I, I, I can't believe that it's been four years of Tyler Myers already, and in each of the two Jets seasons he had before Vancouver, he outproduced his overall point production by a pretty significant margin. Like, how do you have so many points in Winnipeg? My goodness. So anyways, if the Vancouver Canucks are able to trade away Tyler Myers, even for free, like, just getting rid of six million against the cap is already pretty valuable in my opinion. So... Anything coming back in return for this guy, a fourth or a fifth or a maybe middling prospect that not too many people care about. Heck, you could even retain salary on Tyler Myers, and that would be pretty good too. Like, freeing up any money is a win for Vancouver and the state they're in right now, and doing so with a player that is as bad as Myers has been? I mean, look, you could get worse with this decor. We've seen it before. But, ultimately, if you're looking at a Vancouver team that wants to get a higher draft pick, they're looking towards that Connor Bedard sweepstakes, then maybe trading away Myers is the move. However, if it's Toronto, specifically, then I really don't know how that's going to go down. It kind of goes against the imagery that I personally have in my head as to what Dubas is doing with the Maple Leafs. Getting a guy like Myers to bolster your decor? Hey, yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's the move, man. But if there is something that you think I missed, something about the Tyler Myers to Toronto conversation that you think needs to be added that I simply just didn't gloss over, then hey, the comment section is your floor. Let me know down there what it is you're feeling about the situation. If you're a Maple Leafs fan, what are your thoughts on Myers potentially going over to your team? If you're a Vancouver Canucks fan, what is the minimum that you would accept in a Tyler Myers trade as the return? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishraj Rolls 99. And bye.